Hello everybody, welcome back again. Well, I have done a flip through um, video and I came across this little booklet that I made and I told you I would show you how to make it. So I'm going to call it an exploding booklet because um, I really don't know what else what else to call it. You can make it any size you want to, but mine is about three and a quarter by two inches. So you'll need a cover. This is going to be the cover of our booklet. And I am going to just round the corners. This gives you a lot of extra um, journaling space and it doesn't take up much space. Now I'm using double-sided paper. Uh, it's, it's a little heavier than regular copy paper. I don't know what the weight it is, but it's double-sided so it'll come out real pretty. So this is our cover. So that'll be the front cover. This will be the back cover. This is going to be the exploding part. So what we want to do is we want to score. Let me grab my scoreboard. We want to score these, and like I said, these are right at two inches. So we are going to score it probably just a little bit shorter than two. I'm going to go just like a eighth of an inch. I'm deciding. Yeah, I'll go an eighth of an inch shorter than that actual two. All right. Now we're going to fold this up on that score line if I can. There it is. Okay. I'm going to fold this up and we're going to burnish it down real good. I'm going to put that up in there and I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to have to adjust it because I want to go just on the uh -oh, just on the side of that fold. Can you see that? see if you can see see where I the fold came in and I just went like a sixteenth of an inch inside that fold I can see I'm gonna have to score I'm not scoring <laughs> very hard because I didn't want to tear the paper Did you see what I did I tore the paper trying not to tear the paper okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna accordion fold so pretend like you didn't see that I tore that <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go just, I would just go right down that two, but I don't want it to stick out further than the, co the cover. So I'm just kind of scoring it right on the other side of that fold right there. All right, so we're still making our accordion fold. And again, you can make these as big as you want to. And see, that one did not fold exactly in the right place so I'm gonna force it into submission <laughs> it might be easier to do it without trying to score it it might be easier just to if you don't have a scoreboard you can certainly do it without the scoreboard I'm gonna put that one back there we go okay so I forgot to tell you what size I cut this paper. So these guys were two by three and a quarter. So this one, I cut my paper at eight, uh -huh, eight by six and a quarter. All right, eight by six and a quarter. Now we are going to score this one down the center. So this is six and a quarter. So three and one eighth should be our center here. I'm going to fold that down in the center. Oh, I didn't have that open. I told you wrong. It's 10. I had one fold um, under. 10 by 6 and a quarter. All right, not 8, but 10 by 6 and a quarter. All right, but like I said, you can do it any size you want to. Now, we're going to fold that. And I am going to burnish that real good. Now we can get rid of our scoreboard. And here's our covers. Here's our inside pages. All right. So we are going to accordion fold. Let's see. I wanted it to go this way first. 
up, down, up, down. Then I'm going to clip my corners. Now see, that didn't come out exactly the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just trim it because I want them all the same size. Okay. Now let's see if we can clip that many at one time. I have a um, corner chomper thing, but I broke it. Be careful setting your corner chomper down. Let me show you what I did. I have one of these from the Crocodile. We are memory keepers, and they have these little levers that come out like that. And I set it down too hard, and I broke that one off. So I can't, I mean, I can still use it, but I can't, it's hard to line it up in there just exactly the way you want it because it doesn't have that thing on it. So be very careful if you buy one of those that you don't set it down too hard like I did because they're not cheap and I didn't have it no time before I had broken it. And I did try gluing that piece back on with super glue. Did not work. Okay, so here's my cover. Here's my pages, all right? Now, what I want to do is I want to glue my cover to my first page. So, we are going to take some glue, and we are going to, this can be your front cover. Now, if you have a directional print, you'll have to pay attention to that. Mine, it doesn't matter which way it goes. It's not directional. I'm just going to line that up, okay? So I've got that cover there, and I'm just going to glue this one right here. This is a very simple thing to do. Very, very simple. And it just makes a cute little expandable folder, if you will, for your um, journal. And as you can see, I had a little extra left over there. So, which means I probably didn't measure it exactly correct, but you know what? It's okay. We'll just go right in there and we'll just fix it. <laughs> okay, and really that's all there is to it. So let's see how it folds up. Okay, so here's our cover. And remember we, we scored it and brushed it in the middle, but we're going to burnish it again. So it folds over, and let's squish. And I can see right now this one overlapped on that end, too. This is not a good tutorial, is it, y'all? <laughs> don't, do don't do as I say, or don't do as I do. Do better than me, because I just got through making one that came out perfect. But when you go to film it, okay. So here's what happens. Here's your little booklet. you got a cover on the front and the back. You can open it like this, and then it expands this way, and it expands this way. So you've got all this extra journaling space on there. And then because it's a little, you know, springy here, I would either wrap something and tie it or create some kind of a little closure for it. But anyway, that's really all there is to it. Just a little expanding booklet. Now, the one that I showed on the video that I did, my booklet went um, this way. My, my pages were vertical, and it opened like that. So you can go vertical or horizontal. doesn't matter. And you can make this as big or as small. You could have made just one extra page. You didn't have to do all, you know, however you want to do it. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.